Now we will see how to reassemble the pump housing and cylinder housing. Please note, inspect the shaft seals before continuing. If they look damaged in any way, replace them. Remove by pounding them out from inside the pump housing. Both seals should be replaced at the same time. Clean the seal bore in the housing using emery cloth or Scotch-Brite. Using the shaft seal protector from the tool kit, install the cam assembly through the pump housing. Install the shaft rotator from the Warner tool kit to hold the cam assembly in place while reinstalling the cylinder housing. For pump housings with bolt and nut style, install the cylinder housing onto the pump housing. Make sure that all holes are properly aligned. Install the assembly bolts from the tool kit through the cylinder housing and pump housing. Alternately tighten down the nuts on the assembly bolts to draw the pump housing and cylinder housing together by compressing the piston return springs. Please note, the pilot bearing on the cam assembly must be properly nested in the bearing race during assembly. If misaligned, the bearing will be damaged and the pump will fail within the first hours of operation. While tightening the nuts on the assembly bolts, continue to periodically turn the pump shaft to make sure that the cam assembly bearings are not binding. If they are binding, loosen the nuts and realign the components. When the pump housing and the cylinder housing are drawn together, install the four socket head cap screws in the rear of the housing. Remove the assembly bolts. For threaded pump housings, install the cylinder housing onto the pump housing. Make sure that all holes are properly aligned. Install the assembly bolts from the tool kit through the cylinder housing and into threaded holes in the pump housing. Alternately tighten down the nuts on the assembly bolts to draw the pump housing and cylinder housing together by compressing the piston return springs. Please note, the pilot bearing on the cam assembly must be properly nested in the bearing race during assembly. If misaligned, the bearing will be damaged and the pump will fail within the first hours of operation. While tightening the nuts on the assembly bolts, continue to periodically turn the pump shaft to make sure that cam assembly bearings are not binding. If they are binding, loosen the nuts and realign the components. When the pump housing and cylinder housing are drawn together, Install the four socket head cap screws in the rear of the housing. Remove the assembly bolts. Remove the shaft rotator. Now we will see how to adjust the camshaft end play. You may want to review the Warner Hydrocell Pump Installation and Service Manual to see the arrangement of the parts. The current manuals are available online at warnereng.com. If the three set screws are in the cylinder housing, remove and clean them. Insert the center bolt into the hole in the center of the cylinder housing. 
Turn the center bolt in to move the bearing adjusting plate and cup tight against the bearing cone in the hydraulic end of the pump. Back out the center bolt two full turns. Then turn it back in again until it is snug against the adjusting plate. Back out the center bolt exactly one-fourth of a turn. With a plastic mallet, or a regular mallet and a wooden board, to prevent damage to the shaft end, strike the end of the shaft solidly three or four times. This will provide about 0 .006 inches, or 0.15 millimeters, end play in the shaft. This end play of the cam assembly bearings prevents premature bearing failure. Remove the center bolt. Apply removable thread locker to the threads of the three cleaned set screws. Screw the three set screws into the cylinder housing until they contact the bearing adjusting plate. Now we will see how to install the plungers. Please note, if the plungers have been removed from the valve plungers, it is recommended that you do not reuse them. Install new ones instead. Rotate the pump shaft so the piston is in the top dead center position. Place a plunger on the exposed screw end of the plunger guide tool from the water tool kit. The large diameter side of the plunger should face the tool. Screw the guide with the plunger into the valve plunger until tight. Hold the top bolt of the tool. Turn the bottom nut down to force the plunger to seat on the valve plunger. This is a press fit. When installed, the plunger should be tight against the shoulder of the valve plunger. Repeat this process on the other valve plungers. Install the diaphragms as described in the Install Diaphragms section of this video. Install the fluid end of the pump and prime the hydraulic cells as described in the Fluid End Service section of this video. Install the diaphragms as described in the Install Diaphragms section of this video. Install the fluid end of the pump and prime the hydraulic cells as described in the fluid end service section of this video. You have now completed service on the Warner Hydrocell HG25 pump. For further assistance, please see the troubleshooting section or call Warner directly at 612-332-5681. Visit our websites, warnereng.com or warnerint.com for European customers, or contact the distributor in your area.